Hello and welcome to sunny London uh, where we bring you the second video demo of Patch Morpher. It's been a couple of months since the application was originally released back in November last year and we've been very busy since then. We've had uh, a lot of very positive reviews both from synth enthusiasts as well as professional sound designers which is very encouraging. If you haven't seen the first video then uh, do take a look but as a very quick summary uh, Patch Morpher is three things. Uh, firstly, it's an editor for your synthesizer, so you can see all your patches on screen, edit everything on the iPad using the touch screen that's very user-friendly and, and easy to do. Secondly, it's a sound librarian, so you can basically import all your patches, save them on the iPad, you can organize them into scenes, put your favorite patches together, and then recall them very quickly if you're in a live performance setting, for example. And then thirdly, and I think most interestingly, it's a sound creation tool. So Patch Morpher allows you to bring together several sounds and then mix them up, create new sounds. You can also randomize things and go way beyond what the original, original presets are on your synthesizer. Um, and that's very, very interesting and a very fun application to use. Version 2 brings in a host of new features for existing users, a lot more control over the um, sound creation process, and we'll see that a bit later. Uh, as well as four new synthesizers, uh, so two Waldorfs, the uh, Blofeld and the Pulse 2, uh, as well as from Dave Smith, the uh, Mofo, and from Access, the Virus TI. So a huge amount of uh, sonic potential there for you to explore, and I hope you have a lot of fun. Um, I've created lots of sounds as I develop the, uh, the application and I put a lot of those onto the patchmorpher.com website so if you've licensed the application you can use those for free and you'll get uh, tons of patches as well as the, uh, as the actual application. So we'll now move on into a, a few demos, I'll show you what the new features are and how the different synths sound and look like. Okay, so here for our first demo we have the uh, Dave Smith Mofo hooked up to the iPad uh, using a, a, a Roland MIDI interface uh, through the USB camera connection kit uh, and I'm using the uh, Access Virus TI here as a controller keyboard. The first new little feature here on the application is simply that you can uh, uh, auto-arrange the, uh, the patches on the screen. Um, you now have three buttons to uh, automatically lay out the patches. You can very easily put the patches into a, into a better order and get a lot more space. You can also lock them in place so that uh, they don't move afterwards. You can't drag them around accidentally uh, as, as you're playing. Um, and then we can create some new sounds. As well as implementing the, uh, the MOFO and its rather cheerful uh, color scheme, one of the features that had been asked for from users was the ability to uh, uh, add in step sequences much more easily. Um, so that's been done in the, uh, in the editor here. If you go to the, uh, to the step sequencer, uh, let's take track one, we'll send it to the oscillator one frequency, do a step record and I'll just play, play something here. If we turn on the, uh, the step sequencer now, so that's just on one oscillator, so what's quite fun on the MOFO is to uh, put a different sequence or similar sequence on the, uh, on the second oscillator frequency. Um, I'll do something a bit different. And so now, we actually have two uh, sequences running against the, uh, the two oscillators. You can also use this for, uh, for shaping other parameters. The filter cutoff, for example, we can similarly just enter a pattern in. And that's actually one of the rather fun features on the, uh, on the MOFO, that you can create a lot of beat tracks like this and interesting sounds, you can modulate the noise, uh, you can use it to create sort of beatboxing sounds and all sorts of things. So uh, a lot of fun to be had with that. So after those fantastic uh, analog filter sounds, uh, profit filter sounds from the Dave Smith MOFO, we move on to the Access Virus TI, which is a, a real monster of a synth, extremely powerful. You can create an, a, a lot of sounds with that and emulate other synthesizers and so on. Um, to hook the TI up to the iPad, uh, you need a MIDI interface because if you go via USB, the iPad sees the TI just as an audio interface. Um, I've loaded up a sound uh, a scene here with a lot of sort of classic synth sounds. Um, and as usual with Patch Morpher, you can just move your, your wheel around here and create new randomized or mixed sounds. 
But one of the uh, key new features in uh, version 2, and this goes across all the synthesizers that uh, Patchmorpher supports, is that instead of having a single wheel to control all the groups of parameters, you can now press the uh, uh, detail button here, and using that you can control just the pitch of the sound, for example, or just the filters. So I'll give that a go. or just the pitch, or the tone of the sound. And that leaves all the other parameters unchanged, which gives you a lot of, uh, of power and much more control over what's happening as you create new sounds. Um, there's a lot of additional features that I've uh, put into the application as part of supporting the TI, but a lot of these work on the other synthesizers as well. Um, so, for example, uh, on the filter settings here, you can choose what types of filters you want to allow, low pass, high pass, and so on, and also what filter routings for the synthesizers that uh, support more than one filter. Um, similarly, on, on the effects section here, you can choose what sort of effects you want to have, or you could switch them all off, for example, if you want a completely dry signal. Um, lastly, in the uh, um, editor, uh, if you go and have a look at some of the envelopes, you can see how, uh, how Access have added um, a fifth parameter to your standard ADSR envelopes, um, which is a, simply a slope on the sustain, and, and that allows you to create sounds that sort of decay and come back again, which can be quite, quite interesting uh, as an effect. So uh, clearly a very powerful synthesizer. Um, I've created lots of scenes for this since, lots of patches as I was uh, developing the application, and those are all on the, uh, uh, on the website. So if you've licensed the app, you can download those for free, um, and you'll get a lot of new sounds as well for your, for your virus. All right, and onto the newest kid on the block here, the uh, Waldorf Pulse 2. Uh, it's a fantastic little uh, monosynth with an analog filter if you haven't uh, come across it before. Uh, I'll play you a few sounds. So you can see one of the fun features of the, uh, of the Pulse 2 is that it actually can play sounds paraphonically, meaning that it has polyphonic oscillators going through into the single uh, analog filter. And uh, in Patch Morpher, what you can do is under the tone settings here, you can restrict it to only use the paraphonic oscillators, for example, um, which allows you to just create uh, polysynth type sounds. So this is a little synth that's uh, way more capable of, um, than just creating bass lines or something. There's a lot more to it here that you can, you can do. Um, so I would encourage you to give that, a, give that a shot. It's very fun to play with. And uh, there's quite a few patches for it on the website as well. So this brings us to the uh, last new synth added to uh, Patch Morpher, the uh, Waldorf Blofeld. Um, this has been a favourite synth of mine for a long time because of the wavetable synthesis and the uh, very interesting filters that the, uh, the synth has. I'll just play a few patches for you that I created using Patch Morpher, starting from presets on the, on the synth. So a lot of sonic potential you can get out of this synth and, uh, and for, uh, modulating the wavetables and so on. Um, again, a lot of the new features in here, like being able to choose what types of filters you're going to allow or what filter routings you allow, that gives you a lot more control over the uh, sound generation. Um, as well as in the editor, you can see uh, the rather interesting envelope types you can, uh, you can have on the, uh, uh, on the Blofeld. Uh, which adds a couple of uh, extra parameters, extra decay and sustain, um, so you can create some really interesting envelope shapes there if you, if you like. Um, I've had a lot of fun with this synth, uh, there's tons of scenes for it on the, uh, on the website, uh, so I, I hope you enjoy that as well. I hope you've enjoyed this very quick video overview. There are lots of new features in Patch Morpher version 2, including four new synthesizers and many enhancements for existing users. 
Please do make sure you update your synth to the latest operating system for the app to function correctly, and have a look at the website for additional patches and a complete user manual. Patch Morpher version 2 is available on the App Store now, so have fun!